anyways, here we are in Flight Sim. We now can look out the window, we can look up and down, we can change our head position, and, and the entire time it's mirrored. So there we go. Hey guys, uh, quite a few of you had asked uh, for a more detailed tutorial video of how to set up smooth track, so I thought I would go ahead and do that. Um, if you're on your PC and you want to go ahead and download, which is what you need, the, the program Open Track, I have a link to it right on inflightassistant.com slash smooth track down here on detailed instructions. You just open up the, the, the Open Track link right here, which is here on GitHub. Um, in the app, I didn't give this slash releases at the end, so then you land on their GitHub thing and you have to search for where the releases are. So if you do slash releases at the end, uh, you can download the setup exe right here. So when you download the setup exe, you can just install it like any Windows app, and here is what it looks like, open track. So tracking not started, if you hit start, it will listen, and if you hit stop, it'll stop. Don't worry, by the way, about the oh, no video. No video simply means it's not getting any video signal, which is not what smooth track sends anyways, it sends data. Speaking of which, what you're gonna want is the input to be set to UDP over network. And if you hit here on options, you can see uh, which port you have set. I have it set to 4444, but you could also do 4242, which I think is the default. In output, you're gonna want freetrack 2.0.enhance, which is basically the free open source version of the track IR protocol or, or whatever. It's, it's compatible with any track IR game. So you pick that. Now, of course, if you're playing Flight Gear, you're playing FS2002 or 2004 or FS10 or whatever, then uh, you can pick it here uh, and, and then choose that instead. But if you're normally what you're gonna want is freetrack 2.0.enhance. If you go here into options, just make sure that you have it set to enable both or maybe track IR, but, but either way. Um, and then you're ready to go. You can set up filtering here, so that's for smoothing things out a bit more, for adding a dead zone, things like that. And then if you go here on options, this is also important. Here in the shortcuts, I, I would definitely recommend setting up at least a shortcut for center, which centers your view basically on your, on your default head position. So once your head is comfortable and looking straight, you can hit the button and then, and then Open Track will remember that as its centered position for the, for the tracking. So you're gonna wanna do that to find it here. Um, so anyways, once you have this, let's first make sure that your network is set up well. So if you go down here to the bottom right, right click on your network, open network and internet settings, then you're here and then you go on change connection properties. Then here, what you're gonna wanna make sure is that your network profile is set to private, not public. Private means that you are trusting the network that you're in and you want to be discoverable to other, other devices such as your mobile phone, which is what's gonna be necessary. So make sure this is set to private. Then you can go to configure firewall settings. Uh, oh, before we do that, look down here. This shows you IPv4 address, shows you your internal uh, IPv4 address for your PC. So that's what you're gonna to need to do. You can also get this by going to command prompt and typing in ipconfig into this, uh, ipconfig into that, and then you'll see it here, same thing, IPv4 address. So you just need to remember this address later on for smooth track. Uh, but anyways, like I said, then you're gonna wanna configure your firewall. So you go here, uh, yes, we do wanna open it up, and you will go on advanced settings. So once we're here in advanced settings, you open up your firewall, which is right here. You go on inbound rules uh, and create a new rule, which is gonna be a program. You go next, you choose your path to open track, which in my case is open track here and there. So there's my open track right there. And uh, you go next, you allow the connection you pick the networks, you could only pick private, but go ahead and just leave it at all three. You give it a name, you save it, and then you will have a network rule like I have here for open track right there. So you have a network rule. So uh, once you have that, you probably are gonna wanna go ahead and reboot your PC to make sure that it all is applied. Um, I'm not going to, because I know mine already works, but normally you probably just go ahead and reboot your PC at that point. Um, it may work already, so you could also just give it a try. So then, when you hit start, it now is listening for your iPhone. So if we go into our iPhone, okay, so now I'm in my uh, iPhone. I start up Smooth Track. Um, 
I will have to enter in my server IP here, which of course I already have it set to whatever I need. 65 was my address and 4444 was my port. Um, real quick before I hit start, let me explain. If we go into settings and we go into um, the Wi-Fi's that we have, then other Wi-Fi's that you have near you that you might be connecting to, such as mine is G8, you're gonna wanna turn off auto join because otherwise what may happen is if it's starting to get a stronger signal from a different network, it might switch to your networks in the middle of your connection and create some issues. So you're gonna wanna connect to whichever network you are at so in my case, this is Sitecom is the one that, that is my network with my PC. So now I'm connected to the same network as on my PC. I can now open up SmoothTrack. I can close and open up SmoothTrack. Probably if you switch Wi-Fi, that might be a good idea just in case. Uh, and now if I hit start, now look at the, at the octopus. See that? So my head position is being transmitted to the PC and now, of course, if I just hold it so that, let's say I would prop it up in my stand, I would hold my, my head nice and comfortably, and I would then hit F10. At which point now I have a nice connection to the octopus, all is good. So if I now go, and I go to Flight Sim, let me go ahead and start up. So anyways, here we are in Flight Sim. We now can look out the window, we can look up and down, we can change our head position and, and the entire time it's mirrored. So there we go, and you're good to go. Have a great day.